I see it, Captain. You'll fly through three parts of the storm. The outer rain bands, the wall, and the eye of the hurricane. The winds will be wilder than anything you've flown in before. But I know you're ready. We'll be standing by. Good luck. Thanks, Captain. Entering the outer rain bands now. It's about to get bumpy. Activate Octo Harnesses. Just a little further, Dashy. You're almost through the wall. Steady! Steady! We made it! We're in the eye. Well done, Dashy. Barnacle's out. Oh, it's so calm in here. Let's launch those drop zones. We'll get them out faster you can see bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. <laughs> I can see how wet the storm is, how fast the winds are moving, and even where it's heading. Oh, this hurricane is definitely getting stronger and faster. And it looks like it's heading straight for the Florida Everglades. Everglades? That's where my dad is stationed. We've got to warn him. Sound the Octo Alert. <laughs> Agreed. Captain, we're heading out of the hurricane now. We'll join you in the Everglades. Thanks, Dashy. Be careful. Remember, that hurricane has picked up strength since you flew into it. <sighs> Hang on, everyone. It's about to get rough. <laughs> we hit a nasty air pocket. We've got to regain control. that the ground is cracking open. And what is that? That's the crack I was talking about. Ah! See? Isn't it amazing? Oh, 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 gotta go. Oh, wait. It's dangerous. Whoa. Uh oh Things are getting a little too rocky now. <laughs> Octo Agent Parney, report, please. Octonauts. Barney, are you all right? Perfectly fine. But I'm up here in the Colorado Rocky Mountains, and the water under the ground is freezing. <sighs> and that means trouble. What kind of trouble? Take a look at this. There's actually a lot of water under the ground. That's because when the snow on the mountains melts, it turns into water. Ah, yes. And then it drips into small cracks in the ground. At night, when the sun goes down, it gets cold, so the water freezes again, turning into ice. That's right. It's called the freeze-thaw cycle. It's pretty normal up here, but sometimes the freezing ice makes the cracks in the ground get bigger, which, as you can see, makes the ground split open. And loose rocks start to slide down the mountain. Pawnee, you need to be careful out there. Oh, I'm fine. It's the mountain creatures I'm worried about. Looks like there are pikers, dormice and martens in the area. We'd better make sure they don't get hurt by falling rocks. Tweak, is your new project ready? It's ready, Cap. Very good. Dashy, Tweak, to the Octoray. Octonauts, let's do this. Approaching Pani's location. Oh, the Octoray, over here. Ready, Tweak? Ready, Dashy. Oh, what is that? Not normal. Whoa! 
Hello, Pawnee. Hope we didn't scare you. What in the watery world is that? <laughs> it's the new Terra Gup 2. Tweak just built it. I based the design on a giant pangolin. Armored body, digging claws on the front legs, and, as you saw, <laughs> it can roll up into a ball. Let's hope it can handle these rock slides. We better hurry and make sure no creatures get hurt out there. Uh, Marnie, no time to waste. We'll cover more ground if we split up. <laughs> he does that kind of thing a lot. Dashi, hmm. look at this. Hmm. This is odd. It's shaped exactly like a crab. Why would a crab leave its shell behind? Let's check Shellington's creature collection. Oh, when a crab grows too big for its shell, it pops out and leaves it behind. Okay, so this shell could definitely belong to a crab, but we're nowhere near the ocean. Yeah, what's a crab doing in the desert? Let's find out. Most crabs live in the ocean, but the desert crab lives here. It lives in tunnels under the ground and only comes out at night when it's cool. But those tunnels could get flooded with water when the rain comes. We'd better find this crab and make sure it's safe. Let's look for holes in the ground. Maybe we can find the entrance to one of the crab's tunnels. Over here! Hello? Anybody home? Who wants to know? <laughs> Why are you poking around my home? We were looking for you, actually, to make sure you're safe. Huh? Is that rain? I've been hoping for rain. I need a puddle of water for my babies. Babies? Here they are. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Tiny crablets. I have to carry them around like this until I find a little puddle of water. They have to be born in water, but after they grow up, they can live in the sand like me. Uh, uh, oh no! But this is too much water! My home is going to flood! You. It's not just raining, it's flooding! You will better get to higher ground right away. Come on, into the Terraka! It's really coming down now. I can hardly see. You're doing great, sis. We're almost to the higher ground. <gasps> oh no! Some river. It's one of the things that happens in a flash flood, and one of the reasons they can be so dangerous. Water's rising all over. <gasps> Wait, aren't you going the wrong way? It'll soon be the right way, I promise. Hold on, everyone. <laughs> Steady as she goes. Yep, yeah, I'm not sure how steady she can go under these conditions. Looks like one of the legs is jammed up with sand. And I'll go and unjam it. Pawnee, any ideas about how to... Pawnee? Where'd he go? Quasi, do you? Quasi? Oh.
But thanks. Quasi to Captain Barnacles. Barney's got the octopod fixed up, and I've got Barney. We're good to go. Excellent work. Let's move. <laughs> We made it, Tweak. The Octopod gave it her all. Good news, everyone. We've arrived at the water hole. <laughs> it looks like these clouds aren't going away anytime soon. Right, Pony? It should rain any moment now. But where's Peso and my little one? I'm keeping an eye out for him. Dashy, keep trying to get Peso on the radio. Captain, look. One. <laughs> First, Pesa found me, and then he protected me from a sandstorm, and then I thought I smelled rain. And so we followed the smell until we saw the clouds, and that's how we found you. Oh, I'm so happy you're back. Thank you, Peso. We were a good team. He's a very brave elephant. It's finally, officially, raining! <laughs> Look! What's that? It's some kind of water spout. There's another one! And another! Be careful! Those are tornadic water spouts. They're a combination of swirling wind and water. And they're very dangerous. You could get sucked into one. Got it, Captain. Time to zigzag. Zigzag! <laughs> Quasi, any luck at getting your granddad out from under the trees? Afraid not. He's still tangled up tighter than a furball. If I could get to the cup R, I might find something to cut him loose. But the winds are too strong for me to get there. Ah, wind's too strong. Ah, wind's too strong. Ah! Then we'll just have to airlift him and the tree. Have you got a rope? What kind of a pirate would I be if I didn't have a rope? Good. Tie the trees together in one piece. Aye, aye, Minty. <laughs> Hang on, Granddad. We'll get you out of this the pirate way. That's a good lad. <laughs> We're all tied off and ship shape, matey! Good! We're heading your way! But so is that water spout! Lappity flippers! It's turning into a tornado! Hold tight! We're gonna outrun it! Quasi, no plan! Tie yourself to the pile of trees! Calico Jack, hold on tight! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, look now. But it's gaining on us. It's it. Dash it. <gasps> Tweak, come in. <gasps> when the winds get rough, keep the steady pour. Hold on, Quasi. Here we come! <laughs> Captain, everyone is safe. <laughs> <laughs>